Hi everyone, I just got myself a Mac Studio this week. It's the basic model, I did not do any customization with it. I really like the compact design, which makes it very portable. To check how it performs compared to my current Windows PC, I did some testing with DaVinci Resolve 17. So I created a simple project with a test timeline of 4K resolution, using the clips from my last ribbon tutorial video, which has some heavy fusion processes. I know my current PC is quite struggling to handle it at some points. To compare the real-time CPU and GPU performance, I turned off all the cache options. Delete all existing caches. And play the timeline. This is really choppy at the speed of 3 or 4 frames per second, almost 90% of the frames getting dropped. To see how it plays without dropping frames, I turned on this option. Show all video frames from the option drop down menu. This way we can see all the frames, but at very low speed, like a slow motion. At the top we can see the frame rate. When it reaches the last part with 5 layers, it drops to 1 frame per second. Now the playback is stuck at 30 seconds. It took 336 seconds to reach the 30 second position and freezes. Average 3 frames per second. Looking at the task manager, DaVinci Resolve is still processing heavily, but the playback no longer moves. GPU seems not being fully utilized, around 40%. I wonder if that's due to the free version I'm using. CPU and memory usage are a bit high, around 70% CPU, 46 GB memory, there are still rooms. Even after the playback is stopped, the CPU and GPU are still running heavily for a while. The viewer is like frozen, Moving the playhead won't change the view. Next, let's see how long it will take to render the timeline. Go to the Deliver page. Give the file a name. Set format to MP4. Codec to H.265. Make sure all these advanced setting options are turned off. Add to render queue. Start render. Set the updates during renders to off, to minimize the efforts of UI updates. The render speed is really slow, about a couple of frames per second. The GPU is under 30%, CPU average 70%, and memory is around 46 GB. It took almost 16 minutes to render this 37 second timeline on my current Windows PC. Next, let's export the project archive and load the archive project on the new Mac Studio. Make sure all the cache options are turned off. Play the timeline. Still laggy, not usable. At 4.5 frames per second, a bit faster than the Windows PC. Now if we turn on the Show All Video Frames option and play back the timeline. It feels a bit faster and took 238 seconds to reach the 31 second position. Average 4 frames per second. But still, like on the Windows PC. The playback stopped at 31 second. CPU is at 80%, GPU around 50%. Maximum memory usage is about 28 gigabytes, which is not bad. And when the playback is stopped, the timeline is immediately responsive. There is no delay like I had in the Windows environment.
Moving the playhead will change the image in the viewer immediately. The last thing to test is the render speed on Mac Studio. In the Deliver page, browse a new location on Mac, as the existing one is restored from the Windows version. Add to Render Queue and start rendering. But as it approached 12 seconds, we got a render job failed error. The error message is too generic, which doesn't help at all. I really wish that DaVinci Resolve can provide a more meaningful message in case of errors like this. Luckily I realized that it might be due to some text fonts I used in the clip, they are available in my current Windows environment, but not in the new Mac environment. Go back to the edit page, move the playhead around 12 seconds. Yes, something is wrong with this clip. As we place the playhead here, there is no output in the viewer. Go to the inspector, click to open the font drop-down list. Right away, we have the image displayed in the viewer. The font was Agency FB in the Windows version, but it's not available here. Let's change the font to Arial. Go to the Deliver page, add a new render job. Replace the previous file. Start rendering. CPU at 70%, GPU is about 60%. And memory is less than 28 gigabytes. And it took 11 minutes and 13 seconds to finish the process which is around 40% faster than the Windows version. All right, to summarize the performance between my current Windows PC and the new Mac Studio, the playback performances are similar, but render speed is noticeably faster on the Mac Studio environment. Please note these are not lab benchmark results. They are just some real-life scenarios that I use every day. I hope this can be useful for those who are interested in Mac Studio. There is still some room left for the CPU and GPU usage. It seems like the performance is limited by the memory in my case. I wish I had upgraded the memory to 64 gigabytes. With 32 gigabytes, you can assign only 24 gigabytes maximum to DaVinci Resolve. But I didn't want to wait another month for the customized Mac Studio. And neither can I afford the double priced M1 Ultra version. But overall, I'm still very happy with my new Mac Studio and the performance. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.